But I will tell you one thing. I know what you did last spring. You talking to me? I don't know who I'm talking to anymore. <laughs> I know you gonna dig this. Get, get, fu get funky with me. Welcome everyone. Adam the Woo here. Today I'll be covering the 1985 classic filming locations of Silver Bullet. Oh, there's down the tracks is a that's interesting. Not a train. Nonetheless, I'm inviting you to join me. Shall you? Dude, I said you could be in the video. It's not my video. No, don't start them. I start my videos. Did you do the whole join me? You just did that, right? Join I, me, I said Adam the Woo here, join me, shall you? What do you have, like six subscribers, dude? Come on, watch what I do. Seven, seven, eight, last time I checked. What's going on, everybody? How are you doing today? So here I am in Wilmington, North Carolina. Who's that? I don't know. You have much, you have, you, you have much more energy. People, it's a lot of coffee. Did you always start it like that? I do. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> Not only like side belt. Right I know, I know. Who are these? Kramer! I'm excited! Why? Why, Kramer? I'm so excited to be here because not only am I doing one of my favorite films, not only is Corey Haim in it, one of my favorite actors, not only is Carrie Haim, Corey's brother, going to be joining us live via Not Live, but she's going to be filling in some tidbits, and I've got behind-the-scenes photos from Carrie Haim, good friend of mine back in Toronto. But look! Look! Hello! The OG! If you don't know who this guy is, you're obviously living under one of these things. Those are rocks. This is Adam the Woo. This guy... It's good to be here. We finally connected. Finally. We've finally. We've talked about it. We've conversed. Now it's happened. We've conversed a lot and finally got to this point. And quick, quickly, before we get a little kid, I want to say, when I started watching YouTube 10 years ago, I thought only YouTube had music videos and old clips of Saturday Night Live. I didn't know people had channels. I didn't understand anything about it. Techno I, I can take apart a laptop, I can't put it back together. So technology and me, we have a very interesting relationship. I'm, I'm good with it, but YouTube, I just had no idea. And then I discovered his videos. The UHF filming location. UHF in Tulsa. And you're the one that watched that. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> that was me. It has like 12 views. We share a common love of Weird Al Yankovic. I love a common love. A com we're com we're a common love of Weird Al. I think after this we are going to be common law and get an apartment together. We're talking about it. Anyways, this is Silver Bullet. This is Adam the Woo. Let's take a look. So the movie begins here in 1976. It's supposed to be the movie's from 1985. Targer's Mill, Maine. Of we're course. Not in Maine though. We're in North Carolina. Not in Maine anymore. They pulled the wool over. Our yeah, I hate when they do that. And the old guy's walking right along here. And he's a bit of a, he likes his uh, liquor, I believe. A few too many Heinekens? A few too many something, yeah. I think, yeah, I think bourbon, I think he looked like a bourbon man. But he's walking right along here. And now this movie, just to let you know, is about werewolves, which do not exist, except as I said that in a video earlier today, in New Mexico. They are real there, but nowhere else in the world. But he's walking right along here. This, these buildings have changed. But he goes right along these railroad tracks. A little difficult to get uh, the exact shots, but it's right underneath this bridge where he is killed by the werewolf, who you don't see yet, but you will see the werewolf. And it is quite a feat in costuming. It does not, it kind of just looks like a gray bear. But right here, and it gets decapitated. Uh oh, that's gonna get caught in the YouTube uh, words. And his head right around here somewhere and they find his head so this sets off a chain reaction of everybody scared well all the town folk yeah the, yeah order. yeah ah! there's a few more town people that well, get I'm that get killed trying to simulate like a group yeah no you did yeah. Yeah. Ah! i'm gonna adr a whole bunch of uh Put them all in there. yeah screams the headline right here 
That building is different in the background, but these are the tracks right under this bridge. There's old tracks here too. They used to veer off that way. Oh, for God's sakes, you're right. There could have been these tracks. Also, I'm doing. I'm filming something totally different. I'm not filming this. I'm filming a different movie location. Right. Also, Stephen King, here in Wilmington. And more than likely, if you're watching this right now, Adam's video is already up. So when you're done watching this, go to Adam's channel and watch it because the movie Adam's doing is a little better than this one. It's all on this camera right here. We've <laughs> right already there. been filming. Behind the scenes of Adam the Woo, not a lot of people get to see this. Should I turn this on to show you? Yeah. Oh. No spoiler. And there's that car that we saw going that way. A car on the tracks. That's, that's, you don't see a car on train tracks. It's a little perverse. It's like stuffing grouper and salmon. Come on. What are you serving me? All right. We ready for the next location? I'm ready. All right. This is it. Silver bullet. You Let's we're do Gary it. Busey? If we, <laughs> Gary Busey. He's no. under the bridge. Well, oh, you're well, doing uh, that's my best Gary Busey. <laughs> he, did, did you know that 90% of his dialogue in this movie is ad-libbed by him? I, I think that's every film he's ever done. <laughs> I think this is how he lives his life. <laughs> Gary freaking Busey. Love him. All right, we're going next location right now. Why do you let him call you jackass all the time? The bartender says, oh, he, all, he, all, he always calls me that. So Wu, can I call you Wu? Absolutely. Mr. The Wu, I first should say, a lot of people maybe may not remember this movie. I'm gonna cut right now. Here's Carrie Haim, Corey Haim's sister, talking about her experience. She's actually in some of the scenes that were shot right here. She's a, uh, kind of a bit of a, sorry Carrie, but you even said it yourself, more of an extra in the film. It stars her was brother. she in the film also? Yeah, oh, she's in it. She's, no way. she's playing badminton in the background with okay. Megan Follows, another Canadian actress, who is Anne of Green Gables. What? That's Megan Follows. Was Anne of Green Gables filmed in, in Canada also? All all over uh, the cool. eastern part, and then I did Anne of Green Gables locations up it. in near Toronto. They filmed a bunch. That's a throwback. Yeah, that's Megan Follows. She plays the sister. And so let's hear something from Carrie right now. Hey Scott, how are you? Thanks for asking me to be a part of your video. I'm honored. And um, uh, you sent me some questions that I'm going to try to answer for you. So I'm very technical. I wrote them on a sticky note. First question was, what was it like being on a big movie set in the 80s? Because I was uh, in North Carolina for a good part of the filming of Silver Bullet and I had never been there before. It's gorgeous. We were staying in sort of a beach house type of place and it was lovely. Um, being on film sets awesome. It's really cool to see how everything's done. It's really fun. There's tons of interesting people to talk to in all the different departments. It's really cool to see behind the scenes of how the film is done. And this leads into your next question, which was what part did I play? So I wasn't supposed to be in this movie, but I was there and there was a scene uh, where I think um, Corey and his sister played by wonderful Canadian actor and now director, Megan Follows, a Canadian legend. Um, they were having a barbecue scene and it was decided that I could be her friend who was hanging out with them and joining them for the barbecue. So there's a scene where I'm playing badminton with Megan, and then we're all sitting down at the outdoor picnic table with Gary Busey and my brother and Megan and having a picnic, uh, sort of a barbecue. Uh, my character didn't have a name, so we were giggling about that. Uh, and I have a feeling that Gary ended up calling me Garbanzo. We were toying with different names. I think that might be the cut that's left. If you listen carefully, it says Garbanzo, nice to meet you, or something like that. Okay, Garbanzo, nice <laughs> to meet you. <laughs> See you later, Janie. And we're back. I learned a lot just then. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So the house. I like how you didn't even really edit it. You just put that over it. But we're going to pretend yeah, exactly. like it, it went to Canada. Right. We just threw it to Canada. Back to Canada. But oh, we're staying in the same place. <laughs> now we're in, wait, where are we? <laughs> we're in front of a tree <laughs> right. that was in front of the home, but now it's a shopping center. It's a shopping the center. The tree's still right there. They left the tree. Nature finds a way. So Adam, we can go get our nails done or we can get some beef jerky, but more importantly, the house would have been right here. Why is the four so small? <laughs> 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 what? what? <laughs> and, if you read the sign, Margaritas, it's really weird. 
the four tiny? Nails! Four. You! <laughs> Like Gary Busey right there. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> You're gonna get me started trying to do my Gary Busey impression. But that tree right there is still that would have been in front of the other house that left the tree in the parking lot. That's pretty cool. How wild is that? So the house would have right here, Carrie playing badminton with Megan Follows. Lots of shots of the silver bullet, Marty in the wheelchair, coming right up here. But so it's neat. it's now a beef jerky outlet, which is perfect because I haven't bought any beef jerky yet today, so this is the perfect type place to do it. And there's that tree. Mar, Gar, Itas. Sounds like a chant. It does. So Adam, after the man is killed at the railroad tracks, the next person to get killed is Stella. This neighborhood reminds me of South Pasadena. It does. Houses. Right? The craftsman style of that, was that yeah. what we're calling it? But here's Stella's house. So she, there's some shots. Can you see it around that bush? I think right there. Get some shots from this angle at night. She is about to kill herself in the scene, and the werewolf comes and does the job for her right in this house. Little Corey and his friend, I believe her name is Emma, Marty and Emma come right along here and stop and take a look at the house and it's all police taped off right here from about that angle so adam one one thing i'm gonna do right now is i'm gonna i'm gonna try to talk like you a little bit oh. yeah let me see if i can do this okay. see if i see if i can get the voice out am i gonna critique i do I'll just watch. I'll watch with admiration. I, I want, well, I would like that, but... <laughs> or you can just slap me on the back of the head. One thing. You know what? Now I can't do it. It was in my head. Okay. One, Take two. One... Th now, the next location that we would like to go to is Emma's house, where her abusive father is, with the greenhouse in the back. But that, my friend, sadly, is no longer there. So... We're going to... You know what? I can't do your voice. Join me, shall you? There. Are you trying to do me? I was, was that me? That was kind of... I was of. waiting for it to happen. I know. It did happen. Well, the, you have a very deliberate and, and precise, you know, when, you, when, you, when you're describing these things. And I'm, I'm more like a spastic monkey. And I'm trying to talk like... Trying to be more professional. And so that... So that location is no longer around. But we have found something else. What and did we're, we find? I don't know. I'm just... Just go with it. I don't know what the hell we found. We could, there's something else. The next location we're going to. But here, let's throw it back to Carrie because I don't know what else to say. Carrie, take it away. Back to Canada. I think Corey loved this movie. Remember, he was a little guy when this movie was filmed. He was about 12 or so. So just even uh, getting a chance to ride the cool silver bullet wheelchair for a 12-year-old would have been amazing. Uh, to have the opportunity to be in a Stephen King movie was a big honor for him. We did get to meet Stephen King he was on the set at one point. I remember meeting him and he was lovely. And um, he was pretty proud of that movie, I think. So Adam, one of the most iconic scenes in Silver Bullet would be, well, first of all, there's a gazebo in this when movie. When I think of Silver Bullet, I think of the bridge. Right. The bridge is right in front of us. So is the gazebo, or as we call it in Canada, gazabo. We don't. It's right here, but they're, the little boy Brady, they're flying kites early in the film down by the lake, and he stays around to fly kites more. You know, I've only seen two people in my life ever fly kites. I flew a kite. Really? Yeah. So you if I see you fly a kite, you'd be my third person in my life. You didn't like Mary Poppins? I don't remember it. Go fly a kite scene? No. Did you just tell me to go fly a kite? Come on. And there's a, you can take a long walk off a <laughs> short pier. That's a really good <laughs> Now that's something I say a lot. I like to say that to people. Really? I do say that to people. But look at the gazebo. It's right next to the bridge. Right. Here's where they discovered Brady's body. And the father has to come up past the police officers. And he lifts up the blanket that's covering his son. And they cut away. Because it would be a little too gory. Because he got mauled by a werewolf. I got to say, this is probably... This is pretty dang cool, this spot. Yeah. This you is got both spots, this and that. Yeah. But I think of silver bullet, I think of the bridge. I always think of the bridge. Right? 
There it is. I'm seeing it with my own eyes. Here it is. This is the iconic Silver Bullet Bridge. This is it. This is what you pay for, people. This is... Look at this lake. I had no idea that this was... So they're flying kites way down around back there. But Corey would have been right up here. And his uncle Gary, who's a bit of a ne'er-do-well, a bit of a drinker, like we said, gives him a new silver bullet wheelchair. Wasn't he kind of like right up here? Right about right here. Is? Yeah. And he gives him a bag of fireworks. So Corey, Marty, sneaks out of the house to light fireworks on the bridge. But what's coming this way, Adam? At the moment, nothing, thankfully. Thankfully. But a werewolf. There was a werewolf. 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 I've never been in a kayak and I never will. They're, they're difficult. Ah, this We're getting a, off subject here. Yeah, just, I know. That's, what I, that's what I do. I digress. So he, uh, yeah, I'm learning. Good. Thank you. So he's coming right this way. Yes. And Corey, with firework that. Firework in the eye. With those bag of fireworks. And I brought fireworks. Did We're going to. I did. We're going to reenact it. So go down there. I'm really good at. Sh I, I've did got. Did you really bring one? I've got great aim. Yeah, I'm going to fire it at you. Which guy are you going for? This one? I'm going for your left eye, but it's going to graze you. Yep, and a hazmat suit and maybe a helmet. Yep. <laughs> right into that eye. And the wheel, wheel goes away, which... Like... <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect. That's, right? That's perfect. Where's Hollywood? Now, and then that sets off. They're on the lookout for a man with or woman. They're not sure. With one eye bandaged. That's what. That's the last forty minutes. Well, because I have the glasses on, you'll yep. never know. You're you're not damaged. Incognito. But we know who it is. The audience at this point knows who it is. Kind of. I think we did. But Corey still hadn't figured it out. But they do. And we're gonna go to another location right now. Yeah, this. How excited I am to be on this bridge. Right. Sometimes you just. Sometimes you don't even want. You ever just stop filming and you just enjoy the moment and think. Why is the actual bridge from Silver yep. Bullet? I try to do that, I always say that, I try to do that after I film something. I kind of sit and look and yeah. drink it all in. And it's very, it's almost like a draw, not a drawbridge, but it's big enough to where big boats can go underneath the bottom. Yeah. See how elevated it is. Which I didn't really realize that until we were standing here. This is awesome. It's crazy that it's still here. All right, on to somewhere else from Silver Bullet. As a dog barks in the background. Or is it a wolf? Adam, this is the church from Silver Bullet. However, the interiors were shot somewhere else. Oh, no interiors inside the church? No. I've noticed with a lot of movies and churches, churches do not want horror, evil films inside. I've noticed that. With, I just did Hellraiser 3 a few days ago. And that was the case. They wouldn't let them film. They only used the exteriors. They had to build a soundstage. Yeah, they, I think it's a different. It's a different church. We're going to go there and see oh, if we can get inside. Oh, the interiors were in a church. Yeah, they, apparently. Okay, then so, I stand corrected. No, no, that. but you're right. Every time, I, no, you're right. Every time I've gone to film a location where it's a church, they've, it's never been the interior. So we got some shots to get some shots from about this angle. And she's delivering. She's picking up cans, and this is where she, uh, Megan, follows. The sister realizes that the. Uh, the reverend, I guess you call him, not a priest, the reverend, he is the werewolf because she sees his eye. So if I haven't explained this movie yet, the whole town is going crazy about a werewolf. And then he gets shot in the eye by Corey, Corey Haim. So now they're looking for a one-eyed person. She comes right along, right here with those cans, walks right where Adam is. Which stair does she walk up? No, she walks, she comes along pushing oh, a she cart. Comes along this. Yeah, she comes right along here. She got the cans. Yep. She goes around back, and there would have been a I didn't garage. Mean that to be like an insinuator. She's got the cans. <laughs> hey, man, this is Scott on Tape Channel. You can say whatever you want. <laughs> We're gonna see a different side of Adam of the Woo. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Anne of Green Gables got some cans, and she comes right along here. <laughs> I wonder where the garage is. Let's take a quick look if we can see where the garage would have been. So he's here doing some sort of gardening work. Because werewolves like to garden. She goes right along here with those cans of hers. Right here. All right. On to another location from... Silver Bullet. <sighs> Coors Light. The Silver Bullet. Put it... Oh, wait. Oh, my gosh. That just scared the crud out of me. 
What? I thought there was a real person sitting there. That's it. I'm out of here. What is that? Oh, it's... I thought there was a real person sitting there. No, it's just a... That's Joseph. Oh, is it Joseph? Yes. Jackson? No? That startled... That startled me. <laughs> I thought, there was someone, I thought we were making fools out of ourselves out here. And there's someone sitting over sitting here. Sitting there listening to trying us. Trying to have a, a prayer. Yeah. He's just quiet. Oh, he's cracked on the bottom. Wait, how's his eye? Does he only have one eye? Oh, never mind. He's not a werewolf. Dude, I legitimately bother with someone. <laughs> oh, my God. You see, you're, you scared, your reaction scared me more than seeing him. Peace out, Joseph. Take it easy, man. Woo! All right, so the exterior of this church may not look familiar to you at all, but if I go right through those red doors, for you Silver Bullet fans, it'll look very familiar. Unfortunately, those red doors are locked, and they seem to be always locked. I know a few people have tried to get inside this church, but you can see right in the window, because the interiors for the church scenes were all shot in here. So when everybody turns into werewolves, that was all done right in here. And that is the interior. So you can see it looks a little bit different, but the pews are the same. Look off to your right there. I'm trying to make sure so you look at the angle. That's the pulpit right there. That's the interior. Not much I can show you. I can rattle the door. And if you look right there at that one stained glass window in the middle with the red at the bottom, that's very visible behind uh, Gary Busey and Corey Haim. But I can't get to it. Mm. Can't get to the right angle. So Adam, we're in the tiny town of Burgaw, North Carolina. And this is where the festival was held, the bar, lots of shots. This building is seen in the film. And of course, this famous courthouse. So they get some shots. And there it is right there. Pender County. Pender County Courthouse. So we're right on the property, right where uh, they had the big festival near to the beginning of the film and Marty comes right along here. Corey Haim right in the woods or right towards us. It was all shot right around here. And the barber shop where she's collecting cans, I believe they say to her she's out, they're out of luck. She's out of luck. Should be one of these ones right here. Let's go take a quick look. And there you go. That's the interior of the barber shop. Well, she goes in with those cans, but she's turned down. Well, she goes in with those cans, Adam. <laughs> she certainly, oh, Megan follows. More like Anne of Green. I'm not, all right. Is the floor the same too? Same tile? I can't remember. We're going to mash that up and I'll say it on screen. But yeah, that's it right there. Were there any scenes that freaked Corey out? I would, you would think that it would be more the, the werewolfy type of scenes. I don't think those freaked him out. There's one scene where he's climbing out of a bedroom window from the second floor and he's kind of climbing down a trellis or something to get down. And of course his character was in a wheelchair, so he couldn't use his legs. And that's actually him doing that stunt. Cause I remember it was night, it was a night shoot, standing there with my parents watching him climb out this bedroom window. I don't know if they'd allow a kid to do that nowadays, but then, and I don't remember a big net down at the bottom, but maybe there was, and I just didn't see it from where I was standing. But yeah, he did that stunt on his own. And I think he was um, both freaked out and like really proud of doing that. And I remember everyone applauded and like, it was like a cool thing. I think they only did it once because um, it went well the first time. So I actually haven't seen this movie in a long time. So I'm thinking I might do a rewatch as well. And I'm really glad, Scott, that you had the opportunity to be in beautiful North Carolina. And I look forward to seeing you when you come back home to Canada. Have a great day, everybody. Bye. So we're standing under a, what kind of tree is this? This is a musty oak. It's an oak. It's an oak. It's a musty oak? I don't know. It smells like it. It's an impressive tree. It is. We're at the final location that we're going to for Silver Bullet. Now, there's a few other locations, like where the chase scene, the covered bridge. The covered bridge is no longer around. The other bridge goes across. And the chase scene was on a different highway that's a little out of the way. 
Uh, normally on my filming locations, if you watch my channel, I go into great detail, show you every angle, ad nauseum. But today was just fun to spend the day with ATW here. We're burning daylight. We're burning daylight, so we're, I'm ending it here. Filming two videos in one day, one on your channel, one on my channel. Mm -hmm. So we're just kind of, we're just the tip of the iceberg. It's epic. And this was the school. This was the school from the movie. There's only a quick scene here. Marty, Corey Haim was right along here in the Silver Bullet. Well, before it's the Silver this, Bullet. This before confusing. Gary. When we first pulled up, it was yeah, confusing. Yeah, yes. Because the windows are different. Right. Let me but flip it It comes around. right along here, and the windows were what can work of these in Right? And you were saying the, the air. I guess those are air conditioning units now. Yeah. Because before, those gla the, glass went, the glass windows went all, all the way, way down. down. But this tree has got a couple of limbs sticking out, so it makes an appearance. It makes a cameo. And it's just right around here where he stops, he talks to his friends. And then, of course, Emma, he goes off with Emma. And they go by Stella's house. Blah, 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 blah. You'll watch the movie if you don't know what I'm talking about. All right. So, if you don't know Adam the Woo, Hello. I don't know how that's possible. Subscribe to Adam the Woo. Thank you, Adam. Thank you. That was amazing. Yeah. What a day. An awesome day. We got two videos coming today. Well, you've probably already seen that. It's already up. And um, we're shooting a lot more together. This is awesome. Thank you, Adam. Thank you, Carrie. Back in Canada. I love you. Get well. I hope you're feeling better. And wasn't that awesome she was able to do this? Much love to the Haim family. Much love to Megan Follows and of Green Gables with her cans. All right. <laughs> there goes the Anna Green Gables audience. They're mad at me now. Well, she's a grown woman. She's like 48 now. What am I talking? Okay, I stop. Okay. Thank you. Peace.